Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're at, and happy Valentine's Day to everyone, a day of love. And I'm glad you're here today, because you're showing me how much you love Tai Chi, and also how much the love that you have for yourself, because you want to get better. So I always love uh, Valentine's Day because of that. We demonstrate how much love there is. Um, so today in the classes, um, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk just a little bit about the importance of turning, Chan Sang Su, they call that in Chinese, um, and what it does inside, all right? So, but before that, let's do the warm ups and maybe we can see if any of that gets incorporated. So how do we sit? A little bit, the edge of the chair, right? A little bit on the edge of the chair, everybody with me? A little bit at the edge? Mm-hmm. Both feet flat on the floor, the heels a little bit behind the knee. Posture. Remember one of those sessions that I did, we all talked about the posture. How do, you, how do you sit or stand straight? Well, it's not that you straighten out your back that much. The visualization in Tai Chi is as if you had a string being pulled from the top of the head so that the head goes close up a little bit. And then the bottom is sunk into the ground. So you have that stretch right an internal stretch so that's how the stance is at tai chi and that's what promotes the circulation to be even better and the chi the energy of flow just on that stance alone at the bottom is sinking the top is floating right so it's up down side okay so let's uh, let's do the warm up and see how little by little we incorporate these things ready just follow me Remember, Tai Chi is done slow, relaxing, floating. Turning the palm. See, this is about the twisting part of Tai Chi, right? The spiraling. Turn the palm so the palms are facing out. And then bring it in. Chin, chin is a little bit back. Turn the palm again. Push forward. And as the arms go down, the chin goes down. Again. Relax shoulders, relax elbows. Drop your left arm, palm facing the earth, turn your right hand, look at it. And then just only the neck, try to isolate so you only move the neck as you look at the hand. See, I'm looking at the hand, just a little bit, and then bring it back to the middle. Now don't hold your breath, keep breathing. Turn a little bit more this time. Look at the hand. Bring it to the middle. This time, 
even a little more if you can. If not, just a little is okay too. Good. Bring it down. Let's work the shoulders now. And slowly turn. One, two, three. And then the opposite way. It's like a little circle. You go back, up, forward, down. Right? That's right. Now, cross your wrist. Again, the first one was for the neck exercise, and now we're going for the shoulders. This is the second shoulder. Ready? Bring it up. Inhale. And then exhale as you go down. Follow my speed. Remember, if you can't go that high, it's okay. Visualize. Inhale. And remember what I always say. What do you drop? Shoulders. Elbows, wrist, hands. One at a time. Inhale. Ready. Drop. Shoulders, elbows, wrist, hands. Relax. Good. Ready? So that was the shoulders. Two for the shoulders. And now we're going to do our spine. So as if you're holding a ball like this. Boom. Remember where this goes? By your heart. And then this one, a little bit below the belly button. Now watch. The bottom hand is going to go forward like an arc. It goes forward, up. The palm turns and then like blocking the sun. And then the other one goes here by your side. But all that happens spontaneously. All right. So let's do the other side and try to make it all as one. Just follow me, just for fun. Hold the ball. Palm to palm, palm to palm. Ready? Bottom one up, the other one by the side. Turn the palm. Boom. There. Now, now this is a common mistake everybody makes, and if you can't, you can't do it, right? You can make your hand lower. So from here, I see a lot of this. See the hand to the side? but. Do you really feel the back when you do that? Not that much. But if you notice that if you bring it a little closer in, if you bring it closer in, and then you go up, and the other one goes down, you feel a little bit of a little bit of a spinal stretch there, right? Because you brought it in. But if you're too far out, that's really not happening much. Just shoulder. All right? So you in. Again, if you can't go up here and you're down here, that's fine too. Ready? Up. Hold the ball. Let's do the other side again. Ready? Remember, bring it in. Up. Turn the palm. There. See, it's, it's almost like you're pushing, you're holding the ceiling up because it's going to fall. So I'm holding it up, right? And the other one down. And then drop. And if you can't lift your arm that high, that's okay. You visualize. Still getting good effects from it, visual or physical. Up and hold the ball. Ready? Now, this is the turn. Here we go. Ready? Turn the body as one. So the nose and the navel, they move as one like this. Palm to palm. And then when, it, when the bottom hand just about reaches the knee, the fingertips, then you turn both. Palm to palm, and you go this way. Turn, 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 turn. Change the hands. Boom. Turn. Now ask yourself why you're doing this. Can my shoulders and elbows go a little bit down? Yeah. See? Yeah. Just relax them there, and then go again. That's how you want to be. Change hands, turn. 
Now, could I get a little help from my feet? I think so. So when you're going this way, which is to your left, what if I asked you to push down with your right foot into the ground, the soles of your feet into the ground and then turn? See, now you've activated the hip, the hand, then turn the hands again. Now push down with the bottom of your left foot, the soles into the earth, like if they're digging into the earth and you're turning at the same time. See, and then turn it around. Turn the hands around. Now keep your nose and navel aligned. Go, just turn, everything turn. Go, so try not to look at me when you do it, because then your face is going to be this way, your nose is this way, and your hip. So look for it. Like right now, I'm facing a little of the corner. So I'm looking at the hand as I do this. See, but the body's turning. And then I turn it around. There. Now it's moving as one. Sometimes we get, we forget, and we look straight ahead sometimes. I mean, at the beginning is okay. But after you do the movement two or three times, then you just want to go with one, like this. See, this turn is what makes Tai Chi more effective, this turning as one. See? And at the same time, the posture. They are turning in the posture. See? There. There. And bring it down. So this is, I love this warm up that we did because it's a classic example of how you do Tai Chi internally. So Tai Chi, if you ever take a wet towel and you want all the water to come out of it, how would you do it? Right? You have to squeeze it and turn both ends, right? And then go like this, right? So that the water you squeeze and the water comes up. So the body is like that. By turning, you're squeezing. And when you do that squeeze, the chi, the energy flows all over the body. But if I just do this, you know, if I do this, look at the difference, see? Nothing's happening. But if I do this, a lot is happening everywhere, everywhere. So remember, turns are important in Tai Chi if you can, and if you don't have too much of a back problem. It's a squeezing, that squeezing, like wringing a mop. Same thing with Tai Chi. Not only are you squeezing, right, when you wring like a rag, but then you lift it, get all the water out. So the same thing with the body. That water is the Chi in the body, and that's why it's important to turn. Okay, here we go. So we did the, uh, the spine, right? Um, what's missing now is the hip. So let's do the hip. Ready? From here. Now remember, this is sitting. I'm going to do it sitting for the hip, and then I'll stand for those that wish to stand. So let's do it sitting first. So the arms go a little bit behind the back. I lift up the knee, small step with the heel, like that. Then bring the foot back, arms up. Arms down, place the heel. See, we gotta be careful there. Why? The posture could get, could get compromised. So fix it, fix it. Like if you're floating up, right? There. You know, here, you back. As the arms go down, the heel goes up. Now, if I was standing, if I was standing, it would be here, on the heel, would do this, and then I go up. Keep doing it sitting, if you're sitting, all good, and then bring it back. So watch, bring it down, place the heel, right? You can hold on to one chair, like that, Lori, that's, that's right, you can hold on if you want. And in time, you could let go of the chair if you're close to it, and then you work on your balance, go. Now keep the knees flexed for the balance, right? Keep the knees relaxed. It's almost like sinking into the ground. Bring it back. Let's do the other side. Ready? Place the heel. Relax both knees. Fix the posture. Bring it up. 
and bring the foot back. Bring it down. Place the heel. Bring it up. Place the foot back. Now, from here, starting with a palm-to-palm -palm position, sitting or standing, pushing against the wall, and then lift up the left heel and step out a little bit like that. See? That's it. And then bring it back. Palm to palm. This is your starting point. Push against the wall. Lift up the right heel. Step out a little bit. There. That's it. Bring it back. So it's a push. It's like this. Right? It's like I'm pushing against the wall. It's like I'm doing this. Right? It's like pushing. So that's how your palm should be. So it's a little bit this way, you see? And then step out. Boom. And then bring it back. Feel the weight transfer, though, even if you're sitting. Watch. See it? You feel the left foot load up. So I can lift up my right, my right heel, right? And then step. And then bring it back. Palm to palm. So the weight is now like 50-50. Transfer the weight. Lift up the left heel and step up. And bring it back. So actually what I'm doing is pushing, right? I'm pushing from this side, and then I'm pushing to that side. But the trick here is that the opposite leg goes out. It goes like this, it steps out just a little bit like that. Right. Ready? Do it again, palm to palm. Push this way and step out this way. That's it. That's it. And come back. Now, if your shoulders are tense and your elbow is not dropped, you'll be out of balance. So work on that. For those that are standing, watch. Drop your shoulders, drop your elbows, relax your knees, and step out. See if you feel the difference. There. Bring it back. Palm to palm. Drop your shoulders, drop your elbows, relax the knees, step out a little bit. Boom. And bring it back. Good. And relax. Ready? Now close both hands here. Transfer the weight. Remember, if you're sitting, just place the foot and then do this. Forward. Right. And then bring it back. Lift up the toe and then bring it back. Watch. I transfer the weight. Place the heel, drop the foot, bend the knee. Turn the wrist. Turn it again, bring it back. Ready? Remember if you're sitting, transfer and go. Opposite hand, bring it back. Transfer again. That's it. Now I'm going to sit. So if you're sitting, it's the same thing, right? You're doing this. Boom. Bring it back. Place. Bring it back. Now we're going to lift now the knee. And if you're standing, of course, you always hold on to one chair. So I'm going to go over it also standing first sitting, the one that's a little kick that you kick out. So you lift up the right knee. And you're going to kick out with the heel like this. See that? It could be low. And then the opposite hand does this, like a punch. Right. Bring it back. Raise your knee. So it's like kick and punch. There. Bring it back. Ready? Raise your knee. Go. Bring it back. Raise your knee. Bring it back. If I was standing, I would just come to the side of the chair, hold on, and I would lift and do that. If you're at home also, sometimes you need room for the class, it's okay, but if see how I have a wall here, that would also help you with the balance in the future if you ever want to try this at home, that you just 
live, and it assures the posture too a little bit. See, so you lift. It's always the one, the leg close to the chair. Lift, kick out. Then to go on the other side, you would have to literally walk either behind the chair or in front of the chair to do the other side, right? You would have to do the other side where, and if you're sitting, just follow. Lift, so it's always here, and then boom. That's it. Bring it back. So watch. Lift the knee up. Lift the knee up. Step one, lift the knee. Step two, stretch the leg out. And step three, turn the wrist forward. There. Bring it back. So it's lift, stretch. That's it. Perfect. Okay. Now, ready? Relax the hand. And this is heel toe. So it's heel so again, if you need to hold on, it's okay. You could do this, you know, heel toe. It's always the leg close to the chair. So you can do this heel toe, right? Or if you're sitting, just heel toe, right? Heel toe. Work the ankle so that you're turning that joint, right? One, two, and don't go too far out because then your, your back will be compromised, your posture. So it's just a small little step like this. It's almost as if the heel is aligned with the other toe, right, of the other foot. So one, see, like that. Heel, toe, heel, toe. There. Ready? And then just, you can do the other leg. Just hold on. Heel, toe. Right, or you go on the other side. Exactly. Heel, toe. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay, now we're going to go from side to side. Same thing, sitting or standing. So, the leg closest to the chair, and we're going to do side to side. See, side to side. That's it. It's like little toe, big toe almost, right? Little toe, big toe. That's it. Turn the ankle, turn the ankle, turn the ankle. And then, of course, you can either go on the other side, or you could just do the other leg if you have the balance. You could just do the other leg like this, you know, whatever's easy for you, right? Here we go. Same thing, go, here, side to side, there. And then as long as you're here, if you can, even if you're sitting, you lift up, lift up just a little bit, lift up, lift up, that's it. See, I can do the, the one finger, right? One finger on the chair, you lift just for balance. See, one finger is holding onto the chair. See, look, there, right, if you can. And then slowly bring it back. And sit, there. And now we're gonna work on Qigong. And Qigong can be done either sitting or standing also. So I'm gonna sit for a little bit. Ready? Follow me, as if you're holding a ball. Ready? So remember, Tai Chi is rooted with the feet. Starts with the waist also, moves with the waist and expressing the fingers and the hands. So bring it up. So I'm pushing both of my feet into the earth when I'm doing this. The soles of my feet pushing into the earth. Inhale, exhale. And I'm releasing that pressure. Then I'm going up, putting a little bit of that pressure again on the bottom of my feet. Inhale, and then let it go. So even if you don't go, that's high. It's okay, just visualize. Ready? Do it again. Pushing with the bottom of your feet. Inhale, arms up. Just the arms, try not to bring the shoulders up. See, and then turn the palm, push down, and relax the bottoms of your feet. Now, as I go up, push with the bottom of the feet again into the ground and open up, drop shoulders, elbows. It's like an arc. Everything's like a little circle, right? So you do this and then you drop. That's it, ready? Inhale, push to the bottom. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, forward like in an arc, pushing with the bottom of my feet and then letting go of the pressure, the soles of my feet. There, let it go. Drop, 
Follow me, follow me, let it go. Ready? Let's do inhale and exhale. This right, great Qigong movement anytime, anywhere you are. Stress, not feeling well. But you have to relax your hand, right? So right now, look at your fingers and just say, can I relax my fingers? You know, just relax the fingers. And then the energy is going to come from the inside of the palm. And you're going to pull the energy out as you inhale. And as you exhale, put the energy back in. Inhale. Exhale. Now let's say we want to work the feet also and the knees as we do this, right? So here I'm doing this. As I inhale, I'm also opening up a little bit. So I'm doing this. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Inhale. Exhale. And you see what that does to the ankle sometimes? It kind of forces it to turn a little bit out. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Ready? Now, let's bring the hand up as high as you can, even if it's a little bit. Reaching out as if you're reaching out to the clouds, even if you're not going that high. Up, up. There. See, that loosens up all the blood vessels, opens them up. Ready? Now, drop your elbow, close the hands, but not tight. Below the chin. Now, I'm going to turn my wrist, and I'm going to push forward and out and around and back like an arc, and then bring it back. It stretches the chest. See that? Back. Yeah. And then I'm going to arc it forward and turn the wrist and bring it forward. That's right. See how I turned with it facing me? Right. Now bring it down, and we're going to do that whole sequence again. Up. Up, up. Let go of that tension. Just release. Let the blood flow. And drop. Close the hands. Drop the shoulders. Drop the elbows. Turn in an arc, forward, out, and back. Open up. There. And then arc it again forward. Turn the wrist. And bring it down. All this in a relaxed state. So no tension. No tension. Just slowly bring it up. The muscles just go, right? The shoulders, high as they could. I mean, if it's a little bit. And then just let the shoulders drop. Let the elbows drop. Get that tension out. Close. Turn. Bring it back. Turn. And bring it down. Ready? Bring it up. That was one of my favorite ones here where your right is facing the earth, the left is facing to the side, to the side, the palm. See that? Now, again, this is the same contact that we talked about. Turning, the chan sang pui, the turning, the ringing of the body. Ready? So it's just nose and navel. Try not to look forward. Look at the hand. So you move, even your head is moving just a little bit to the corner. And then we're doing the same thing on this side. This one's going to the side. This one's going to the earth. And go. Move as one, the basic concept of Tai Chi, Xuan, go mm, together as one, turn, that's it, so both arms are going at the same time, you see, so one arm shouldn't be going and the other one staying still, if you can. If you can't do it, just visualize that both of them are moving like this. See, my waist is literally taking everything. You see, look, there, that's it. So 
turn, the body is one. That's it. So bring your right elbow back a little bit to help you with the turn. If you can, the right elbow there, you see? And then drop, go. Then you bring your left elbow back just a little bit to help you with the turn. Right, even a little bit, that's good, that's good. So just, I want you to feel, feel, right? Tai Chi is also about what am I feeling? Connect inside, connect. How do I do that better? Well, what if I visualize I'm doing it inside water? Inside water. And I feel the air through my fingertips. Go. Water, air. and bring it down. Now you feel the hands, feel the fingertips, a little bit of tingling there as you face the earth. So that energy is beginning to work, right? So let's do this one now. I love this one. From here, back of palm touches. Remember, sitting or standing, right? Sitting or standing, I could do this. Back of palm is gonna to touch. Now watch. I love the visualization. I use it like a flower blooms up and then opens and receives the sunlight. There. Let's do that again from here. Ready? Back of palm, touching, bring it up. Try not to lift your shoulders up, just the arm here. There, you see the difference? Right, and then open up now you drop elbow and shoulder. Ready? And go like this so that the sides of the palm touch. And then you bring the hands in and down. And then you bring them up, turn them again, out, and then open up. Bring it like this. It's like a Qigong move here. Ready? Get that energy to you. And in front of you, in front, start dropping elbows, shoulders, let it go. Even if it's a little bit, that's it. Perfect. Keep going, keep going all the way past the belly button. There. And then we go here. We start again. Ready? Inhale. Let it go. Side of palm meet. Curl it in. Bring it out. Open. Bring it close. And slowly drop. Elbows, shoulders, wrists. Let it go. Nice and slow. And if you can now, interlock the fingers and bring it Circle, one. But what am I turning? Remember we're doing today the concept of the turn, of spiraling a little bit. So see, see how everything's turning? Right, two, that's it. It's like a circle, right? Drawing a circle in front of you. Three. But don't lock the elbow, keep the elbow nice and loose. Other side, go, one. Just keep the circle, keep the movement so that you feel the rotation in the waist, just a little bit, right? Two, that's it, feel the rotation. Go, three. Open up, let it go. Drop. Cross. Turn the wrist, facing out. Now watch, I'm gonna open up in front of the chest and the tips of my fingers are touching. 
And I do that for a reason. So you can visualize you're drawing a straight line with the tips of fingers as I draw the line out like this. Go. Open. 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 There. And then drop. Let's do it again. Cross. Palms facing in. Turn so that the palms face out. Open. Even if it's not that high, low is good. If you do one hand, one arm, it's fine. You know, just I want you to open as much as you can. Cross. Turn. Open up. Open up. Open. Feel the chest expand. There. See that? That's what you want. And drop. Ready? Now close. Close the hands. Not tight. And we're going to do two openings. One, two. See how the elbow goes back a little bit? One, two, and then two bigger ones. One, two. So it's two small ones. One, two. See how the elbow goes back and the chest expands? One, two. Ready? Two small ones. One, two. Two bigger ones. Yeah, let's make lots of room for the heart, especially today, Valentine's Day, right? One, two, big ones. One, open up the heart. Two, two small ones. One, two, two bigger ones. One, two. Now, this was a little bit challenging. Just go as high as you can. It's like a little scissor where I'll give you a side view, right? So I'm doing this. One, two, see how they both go back? One, two. Ready? So just give it. Give it a shot. Even if it's one hand, a little bit. One, two. And bring it back. One, two. See how they both go back. Just a little bit. One, two. And then you two the other way. One, two. Good. Even if it's just a little bit. One, two. Okay, bring it down here. Ready? Turn. Remember, we went over this the last time. Talk about spiraling and turning, right? This is what we want to do. Turning. See? If you're sitting, remember we went over the sitting where you could turn the waist and have the weight go on one side of the buttocks. Then you're turning and you feel the weight go on the other side. So just make the circle. So I'm visualizing like you're drawing a circle here. There. Go ahead. But see the waist. Move the waist. A lot of time when we get these spasms, you know, this is good to do, right? Because the spasm is a tightness of the muscle caused by the nerves. So you just want to loosen up the muscles as much as you can. So just relax, loosen up. Ready? And then go the other way. Circle, circle it. Make a circle. Imagine a circle, a circle. There. That's it. That's it. That's it. A circle. Good. Isolate. Try to isolate the waist. Isolate only the waist. Go. Keep going this way and then going this way. That's it. Now I'm going to sit and I want you to really isolate the waist a little bit. Ready? So just, you know, turning it. Turn. See, I'm going back and then forward to the other side. A little bit back to the side. And then I'm doing this. See, so sitting or standing, we can still draw the circle. That's it. Good. And then if you can, right, lift up the heel, drop. Lift up the heel, drop. Lift up the heel, drop. Okay, now we're going to get prepared for some Tai Chi. Ready? So I'm going to do it sitting and standing. So those of you that could stand could wait there, or you can sit, follow. I'm going to do a little bit of sitting, and then I'm going to stand. So if you're sitting, this is the way you do it. Ready? And if you're standing, move the arms. Same thing. Go. This is the Sun style Tai Chi, where this energy is all over the palm. Boom. See that? Now what's important here is that you always keep the palms facing each other all the time. As soon as I come up, look, the palms face each other. See that? So. Bring it up, about shoulder to your shoulder height, and then drop. See how it drops? Yeah. Let's do it again. 
One, do this one. Inhale, exhale. Just that, get that energy there. Inhale, exhale. Now, I'm gonna bring my elbows back as if I'm drawing a circle and then push forward like that. Let's do that again. From here, go up about chest level and then forward. Right, that's right. Okay, so if I'm standing, right, I'm doing this. One, two, and then draw the circle. Mm. There. See that? So I drew the circle. I drew the circle. And then I push forward. See that? Right. But up, palm to palm. Palm to palm all the time, though. We can't lose that. Yeah, it's always palm to palm. Palm to palm. Look. I'm doing this, but it's palm to palm. Look. Palm to palm. And then forward. Right. You see the circle? So it's like this. It's that spiraling that we're talking about, that circle here. Here. There. Right. Right. Ready? Let's do it again from here. Ready? Sitting or standing? Inhale. Exhale. Now, if you're standing, lift up the left heel. Elbows back, small step, like that, very small. And then bring the arms up and then go forward. And as you go forward, see how the weight goes forward a little bit? And now I lift on my other heel and I step parallel. There, palm to palm. Let's do it again with the step. Ready? And if you're sitting, do the hands again. Here we go, ready? Go. Inhale, exhale, drop. Lift up the left heel, small step. Push forward, keep the posture for the balance, and then step. That's it, now. Bring it in like this, and then open, close. Inhale, exhale. If you're standing, transfer the weight. Small step with the right heel, very small. And then I push to the corner. There, that's it. And then I open, open up like this. Open, open the curtain up, and let the sun in and bring it down. Good, ready? Now I'm gonna sit and do the same thing Nice and slow. Here we go. But again, you can stay standing or sitting. Here we go. One more time. Here we go. Ready? Go. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it back. Bring it forward. Bring it in. Open. Inhale. Exhale. Turn. Step. Push and open up, let the sun in. Now we're gonna wave hands in the clouds. So this is how you do this, just the arm, ready? Follow me, fingertips towards the elbow. And as soon as you get there, left hand down, right hand up, like this. So one's like stop sign and the other one's just there. Do this, move it together. One, turn, and when you get to the corner, one goes down, one goes up and then turn, that's it. So you see the palm, one palm's facing forward, the top palm forward and the other one's down, like that. And then switch, go. That's it, switch, go. Bring it to the middle and now open, close and breathe. And from there, we're gonna do brush knee Ready? If you're standing or sitting, just do the arms. One. Ready? One, two, three, 
four, push forward. That's it. Bring it in again. Open, close. Ready? Other side. One, fingertips to the inside of the elbow. Two, brush the knee. Three, palm towards the ear. It's going to turn and push forward. There. So you see what, it, what I mean by the turn? The palm is going to turn and face the front and then push forward. Right. So it's like one, two. So it's from here, from up here, again, one, two. Right. So you guys, you see the, the spiraling in Tai Chi? That's what I mean. It's like a little circle. Mm. Yeah. Right. Let's do the other side. Again, here, sitting or standing. Bring it in. And then push out. So the movements, the angle, the lines, it's all important in Tai Chi as well, right? Just like when you draw, right? Lines, angles, same thing. Well, in Tai Chi is the same thing, but it's the body. It's the mechanics of the body. So you bring it in. This is a straight line going this way. And then if it's a little curve, it's going to go like this. Boom. And then it's going out. Like that. Okay? And then bring it here. Open, close, breathe. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale. Now this one's called playing the loop. So from here, just do this. One, watch. It's a little hard to see from sitting, but I'm going to be doing this. One, two. See that? See how they do it like this? So it's one, two. One goes back, one, go, one elbow goes back, one elbow goes forward, sitting or standing. Right, go. Right, sitting or standing. And bring it down. Back to the Qigong, here we go. Ready? Up. Bring it down. Close both hands, ready? And let's do this like a circle. One, two, remember the spiraling, the turning. There, three, let's go the other way now. One, breathing, relaxing, two, That's it. Three, turning. Good. Bring it down. Ready? Bring it here again. Palm to palm. Touch. Feel the palms touching. Relax. Ready? Now what you want to do is as you push this way, you see how I'm pushing this way? And the head's going to turn this way. And then bring it to the middle. Ready? Push this way and turn the head that way. Bring it to the middle. Now I'm going to ask you to keep doing it except for one thing. Could you drop your shoulders and elbows? Relax and then do it. Go. Bring it down and then bring it up and it's like a small circle. One, relaxing the knees or if you're sitting, just do the circle. Two, if you're standing, see I'm almost sitting back a little bit and then I do this. Bring it in, go. Three. Open, close, breathe. Bring it down. Now one hand, bring it up like this, like blocking the sun again, and the other one in your back. So in the back is where your spine ends. That you want to put the back of the, the back of the palm where your spine. They call that the Ming Ming point. That's acupuncture point. So if you can, bring it up like that, 
right? If you're sitting, same thing, and then up, and then do this, watch. Go to the side. Same thing, bring the back of the palm to the bottom of the spine, and the other one's gonna go down here. It's gonna go up, up, and then turn, bring it up. There, and then out, like this, out. This is from a medical Qigong. Again, bring the palm to the Ming Ming, bring it up. Turn the palm. Just do what you can. If you can't go all the way, even if it's a little bit, but turn, turn, bring it to the back. Keep going. I'm going to do it sitting. Bring it up. Up. Stretch the spine up and then, yeah. Ready? Pushing into the earth. Well, bottom of your feet. And then let go. Ready? Bring it up. Pushing into the earth. And then let it go. And relax. Good. Ready? Chest take arms now. Let's work the wrist a little bit, right? So do this. A lot of circulation going on in here, right? So palm up, palm down like that. And then you do it just a little faster. Yeah, you do this, palm up, palm down. Ready? Let's try this Qigong one now. Ready? Palm to palm. Now we're going to do this. One, inhale. See how I open and close. Every time, a little bit further. Inhale. Feel the energy a little bit further. Three. Inhale, ready, now switch, go this way. Inhale, relax the hand, right? Remember like, like you know, you ever see uh, how the octopus, they with the hands, so just relax. One, and then relax, and bring it back. Go relax the fingers, two, inhale, and then every time, a little bit more. And bring it back. Ready? From here, drop and do this. Bring it forward, out, and in. As if floating the palms on top of the water. Feel the water going out like a little circle. Bring it in and then out again. That's right. And then out, bring it in, right? And out. Here. Open. Bring it back. Forward, open. Now close the fingertips. Ready? Like this, right? Close them like this, like that. And you're going to put them here where the clavicle is. So see how it ends and it indents a little bit more at the bottom of the clavicle? There's a little bit of an indent. You feel that? on the corner, on the bottom, there. There's, it should be a little softer there. So you put the fingertips there, and then just elbows go up just a few inches, if you can. Watch, this opens up the back, and then open up. Open, open, and then drop. And if you can't go all the way back, it's okay, just a little bit. Lift up the elbow, open up, and drop. Feel how the back Opens up, do it again, ready, open, and drop, good, bring them in, work on the hands, one, two, so if you can, do the fingertips, like this, touch, see if you can touch, thumb to one finger, thumb to the second one, the thumb to the third one, just a little bit, yeah, just a little exercise there for the finger, yeah, and then just, Work the fingers. Bring it down. And if you're sitting, 
Of course, if you're sitting and you want to work the ankles, you know, you do this, right? You go around like that. Or if you're standing and you want to hold on to the corner of the chair, you know, just lift up and twirl your ankles just a little like that. Mm -hmm. And then the other side, like this. Good. Ready? Nice and slow. Bring it up. Palms up. Bring it up. And this time, bring it in. Towards you. Here we go. So get that energy go from the inside, from your face. Drop and bring the chi all the way down to your chest. Traveling down your abdomen, your thighs, your knees, the side, and let's do it again. Ready? Breathe. Bring it so that the palms will come towards you like this. Bring it towards you so that your face, right? Face. That's it. Your face. Bring it in. Get closer to the body. Again. Face. Drop. Bring that energy down. Bring it up. And relax. Ready? Now we're going to do the cool downs of the Tai Chi. These are the cool downs. Because believe it or not, the hour went and it doesn't seem that way. We seem to slow down, right? And the time goes fast. Ready? So from here, let's work on the on the cool down. So it's three times. One. So it's one. Two. Relax. Three. Then we're going to squeeze. Ready? One, and let go. Two, let go. Three. Then we're going to gently just tap, or if you're sitting, just tap a little bit. And this is tapping, by the way. It's called tapping. You can find this on YouTube. A lot of people do this, and there's, I know there's two or three people who just work on tapping because it works on different meridians of the body, right? Just like the acupuncture. The arm tapping with the, with the palm, you can tap. Sitting or standing, you know, you can tap all over the leg. The kidneys, ah, here. Then you can tap the meridians here in the arm, see? The, the front, the back of the arm, the side, the back, and then the other one too. Top of the arm, side of the arm, both sides, bottom of the arm, and then kind of with the lymph nodes right here at the bottom, tapping, see? And then the other one too. That's it, that's it. And then relax. Of course, there's tapping on the face and things like that, but we won't get into that now. Just relax a little bit, relax. Ready, again, from here. Three times, inhale, exhale. Ready? Inhale. Visualize the whole body is opening up. And then exhale. Inhale. All the joints are opening. All the muscles are relaxing. Exhale. Breathe. Expand. The body expands. The body contracts. So there's an opening and a closing. There's a left and there's a right. There's an up and down. That's the nature of the yin and yang. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly bring it down and relax. Feel. Try to just feel there. 
and go like this, as if you're hugging a tree. Matter of fact, next time you go outside, just hug a tree, right? And you feel the energy from the tree. I do that all the time in the forest or outside. Relax a little bit, right? And you just feel when you're outside, you feel the energy <laughs> like this. So you're just hugging, right? So do that circle, that circular hug like this. So you inhale, and this is like a standing meditation or sitting meditation, same thing from here. Inhale, exhale. And remember we talked about breathing in the last session. If you want to work on your different type of breathing, you can do the belly breathing, right? They call that the Dantian breathing, when you inhale and this part goes out. You almost force your stomach <laughs> out, exhale, and your stomach goes in, right? So you just play with that. Inhale, stomach out, exhale, stomach in. Inhale, exhale. Now slowly open up, open up, and slowly drop down and float down, and relax. And we finish with a greeting, strength, unity, especially unity today on Valentine's Day, right? Day of love. Elbow in, bring it like this. Like a little, see how, like that. See, this is how it is, like this. There. And then bring it down. And I thank all of you for coming today. And if you have any comments, we'll be a couple of minutes, two or three, four minutes. If you want to say anything, I'll be more than happy to answer any of the questions you might have, as well as to wish you a happy Valentine's Day to everyone that's here. You can open up your mic first if you want. You know, if you want to say anything. Okay, Rosemary, everything good? Yeah, I, I take it. Um, you're supposed to, I'm pretty chillaxed after these sessions. Is that, that's pretty oh, normal, super. I'm assuming. Super relaxed. Is that how you feel? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That, that's what we want. And you know why it helps so much with MS? Because the nervous system MS is doing this, right? It's constantly on the battle, on the forefront. So when we relax our body, the muscles relax, the nervous system relax, and everything just relaxes. And that's why it's so healthy. That's what has helped me all these years. That's why it has helped me all these years. Because I learned to how to just move, relax, spiral when I have to, um, and just take it easy. You know, and Tai Chi helped me to do that. You know, so it, it, the stress factor goes down, which is that parasympathetic system where it's always Right? So the parasympathetic system is slow, and the sympathetic system is fight or flight, and that's the difference. But yes, you are, um, it does slow you down, and it decreases the heart rate to a certain extent. So your blood pressure always goes down as well. Lori, how are you feeling? Lori? Great, right, great. Right. It was awesome. Thank you. Are we relaxed? Yes, very relaxed. That's what we want. We always want to be that way. <laughs> Even at times of tension, you know, you can do some of this. Oh, inhale, exhale, inhale, just like that. Or put, you know, find a YouTube video, watch it again, watch another one, and just maybe do 10 minutes of it, five minutes of it. And when you get to that state of relaxation, then you stop, breathe, drink some water, and, um, and just stay with that energy for the whole day. Any other, uh, any other questions? Who's that? Catherine, hi, Catherine. Hi, sorry about missing last That's Tuesday. Okay. But even okay, when their Catherine. kids are 30, they still want mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Emergency. Yes. I gotcha. And where are you located, Catherine? I forgot where you were. New Jersey, Central Jersey. Oh, that's right. I, how could I forget my home state? How could I forget? And it's 60 degrees today. It's beautiful today. Beautiful. Lori, are you in California? I forgot where you were. No, I'm in, I'm in Rhode Island and it's beautiful here today. 50s and sunny, so. Love it. Love yeah. it. And Rosemary? Uh, 43. Woohoo. Where? In, in Maine. Yes. That's right. Ah. My That's right. That's right. <laughs> Pete Maggie, Maggie, you're in. We're in Lauderdale. It's 81. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> great, great. No, but I really would like to wish all of you a happy Valentine's Day. 
enjoy the day, enjoy the moment. Thanks to um, you. And just, you know, relax and, um, and everything is going to be fine. I'll be back again next week, same time, same station. So I hope to see you then. Thank you again. Great. And Thank uh, you. Thank happy you. Valentine's Day. Thank Take you. Care, everyone. Happy Valentine's, everyone. You too.